What's up, you weirdos? Fever here. How are all you beautiful people today? Alright, boys and girls, Bungie finally released the first Stasis subclass on us, and I'm gonna read it off to you with some B roll footage in the background, along with some cool pictures that they were kind enough to put on their website. So let's get into it, shall we? Welcome to the first in a series of Stasis Spotlight articles, where we will be taking a look at Stasis via each of the three Guardian classes in Destiny 2. Stasis is the first elemental power to Destiny since the original trio of Arc, Solar, and Void, and its introduction in Beyond Light will have ramifications for players across all aspects of the game, from narrative to combat, to the way in which players will customize their Guardians. Each Guardian class will feature a new Stasis subclass with Beyond Light and, as you might expect, each class will use Stasis in a unique way. Well, I would hope so. Stasis is the domain of control, an elemental power that is less about outright aggression and more about careful control of enemy combatants in space, sometimes even using the powers of Stasis in a defensive way. Hunters zipping by in the blink of an eye while slowing down opponents in Stasis fields, Titans smashing their fists to the ground, launching jagged eruptions of Stasis crystals from the earth. No matter which class you prefer, Stasis will change the way you play Destiny 2. By commanding Stasis in Beyond Light, players will have access to the new powers that change their approach to a fight. In combat, Stasis can manifest in multiple ways, including freezing or slowing opponents, creating crystalline Stasis structures, and even shattering frozen combatants. This range of options gives players more ability to control large-scale fights than ever before. This is what I'm talking about, Bungie. No class embodies the concept of freezing better than the Warlock Shadebinder. Imbued by stasis energy, the Shadebinder can summon a stasis staff that fires projectiles which can freeze opponents, immediately rendering them immobile. Did I say that right? Immediately rendering them immobile? The Shadebinder's penumbral blast melee attack is quick burst of stasis energy that erupts from the staff and instantly freezes anyone it hits. From there, the Warlock can either deal with frozen foes or leave them be and move on to other more immediate threats. If you're looking to combine freezing with destruction, look no further than the Shadebinder's super, Winter's Wrath. Here, the Shadebinder summons their stasis staff and fires projectiles that instantly freeze opponents. The second stage begins and the fight ends when the Guardian raises the staff, detonates its stasis crystal and sends a devastating shatter shockwave that disintegrates nearby frozen enemies. Holy shit, Bungie. Damn, Warlock's moving up in the world. Customizing stasis. Now this is the part I was looking forward to. I was really concerned about if it was going to be like a Destiny 1 skill tree or more like Destiny 2, which we all love the Destiny 1 version, but I wanted to see something different. If you've played Destiny for long enough, you know that choosing the right subclass for each situation can be crucial to the outcome of a fight. Titans have their bubbles, amen. Warlocks have their wells. Skilled Guardians know how important those abilities can be in a pinch. With Beyond Light and Stasis, we're giving you even more flexibility to customize your subclass to your style of play. Alright, we're getting there Bungie. Each Stasis subclass in Beyond Light will give players the ability to customize abilities like grenades, movement modes, class abilities, and so on with. In addition, we've added new layers of customization with the addition of aspects and fragments. Aspects manifest as physical items in the world, such as crystallized Vex Conflux or a robotic fallen arm. For example, when slotted in, aspects will offer players new abilities among other effects. These abilities can be mixed and matched freely by the player. Many aspects will have space for fragments to be slotted in. Fragments are also physical items you can discover in the world that, when applied to aspects, offer additional passive perks such as stat bonuses that may come with penalties. Aspect upgrades are unique to each stasis subclass, while fragment slots are class agnostic. How players combine these two different types of upgrades will lead to a range of customization options. I usually don't get hyped for Bungie trailers and new DLCs because sometimes I get let down. But man, I'm really looking forward to this new subclass. I'm still a little worried about it in PvP with people getting frozen, but hopefully they have that figured out. For example, a warlock finds a frost pulse aspect in the world and equips it. The aspect augments their rift ability, which now freezes any enemies caught in the field. The frost pulse aspect also has a fragment slot available, allowing further customization. This warlock decides to slot in the Whisper of Refraction fragment that replenishes some of their class ability energy upon shattering enemies. They have now set themselves up with a nice 1-2 punch and, if played skillfully, can use this combo frequently. 
With its focus on freezing and shattering, the Shadebinder subclass promises to give Guardians yet another reason to love their floaty boy. Okay, they didn't put boy in there, I did. Book loving warlocks. But no matter what class you like, all players will be able to take advantage of aspects and fragments that unlock even more ways to make your Guardian yours. I don't know, what do you guys think? Like I said, I usually try not to get hyped for Bungie trailers and stuff like that, but this, uh, this could be a game changer. I'm so happy that they're putting this stuff out in the open world. I love exploring stuff. A lot of the open worlds were underutilized or recycled too much. Hopefully they don't do that in the future. Anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you have an amazing day.